hello viewers welcome to my channel today video is a part of data management in microsoft excel but it's all about what is bad data and how to clean it how can you get rid of bad data what tools you can use from microsoft excel to clean your data this video will help you to understand use of text function blank cells how to find select and treat them convert numbers which is stored as text and also remove duplicates i will upload more videos about other functions from microsoft excel all of these elements work together to help you advance your skill from beginner to advanced in data management you can find more videos about microsoft excel in my channel playlist and check your right corner of the screen if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe like put in comments for any inquiry we, know we should avoid making use of bad data but what it is bad data refers to data that is inaccurate for a business and this inaccuracy doesn't simply mean data is false true data can also be bad data data analysts are more specific about what they consider bad data they call it the three eyes to identify it there are three main types of bad data inconsistent data incomplete data and inaccurate data inconsistent data is data that's inconsistent across multiple records for example that is typical of acknowledgement fields which can include different ways to address someone like mr or doctor which users can enter differently or no acknowledgement at all in other basically we track information that is not consistent across all our records incomplete data is data that is missing information in comparison to other records we commonly see when these records may have for example email or a phone number while others may empty or incomplete inaccurate data is trickiest of them all to identify as it deals with information that is wrong we can go into our records and read the data we have no easy way to know if the data is accurate on what it tries to identify. Now that we know the three different types of uh, bad data. I am sure we have encountered a situation like this where data is all over the place and it usually happens when it comes from a database, a text file or even a raw copy paste in any case. As you can see we have text separated or not properly aligned due to extra spaces. Some even include additional spaces after the last word. To fix this problem we will use the trim function. The trim function takes one single argument which could either be the text type manually or it could be a cell reference. In this case, we start by using A1 for cell reference and what trim does is remove all leading and trailing spaces and any additional space between the words with the exception of one single space for separation. There you go now, I can just drag down or double click the field handle to apply the function along the field now very important remember that these are formulas at this time so look at the formula bar if we want to keep the clean data delete the original we need to convert it into values and we do this easily by using copy and paste using a special to paste values In this case we have customer table with incomplete data 
you can see that there are gaps in the data set but instead of simply deleting the file which is very valuable anyway we'll prepare to add the word missing in it to replace the blank space you can use any word acronym or any other indicator that works for you we could try and directly add the word missing in the blank spaces but if this was really a data set with hundred of records copying or pasting one by one won't be practical to achieve this in action select the entire data set go to find and select in the home tab and select go to special this opens the special dialog box alternatively you could use the shortcut f5 to open the dialog box here select blanks and click ok this action will select all the blanks in our data set all selection are gray with the exception of the first one which is considered the active cell so without having to place your cursor or select the cell simply start typing missing as it will be automatically placed in the active cell then use ctrl plus enter in your keyboard as soon as that done you will notice what missing is now replacing all the blank spaces we will be working with a small table containing numbers as you can see some of these are probably formatted correctly as number as they are aligned to the right while the others are more likely formatted as text as they are aligned to the left we need to properly convert or format the number so they are all recognized as such instead of as text there are two main ways to do it one is by using the formatting box select the data and in the formatting box type or choose from the drop down the option for general okay most issues were fixed however we still have two that didn't format properly the main reason is that they were entered with an apostrophe which is a common practice in many places fixing this is critical because it can create calculation problems for example if i use a condition to say that a hundred thousand is bigger than this number it will obviously return a true statement but if i check this condition along the field i receive two false comparison like this excel always consider text to be greater than a number so it doesn't matter how big number is if there's a text in your calculation it will always be rated higher than a number so this means that even after changing the format we are still dealing with two text one certain solution is to type a number one in a, any of the blank cells then copy the cell and go to the ribbon to select paste and paste special this will open dialog box where we can find the operation category on that one select multiply and click ok what this does is multiply the number we have selected by one and as you know any number multiplied by one remain the same value which took care of the apostrophe as they were all converted back to a number we have a data set containing sales activity throughout the year the problem is that there is duplicates on it to remove them we have two main methods First, we can use conditional formatting of data in Home tab. Open conditional formatting. Inside, highlight cell rules where we can select duplicate values. This method allows us to visually identify the duplicates and numerical and textual values. Now I can clearly see Jeremy and Kevin are duplicated. So I can go and manually delete them. Now there is another way to do it but first uh, let me undo this so we can use the table again okay so this second method select the whole data set go to data and there we can find the option to remove duplicates click on it and a pop-up box opens identifying the fields in our database just make sure that my data has headers is selected otherwise excel will consider our headers as part of the data 
this method will delete all records that are exact duplicate across this table this means that we have some other duplicate sales numbers that are not part of Jeremy and Kevin data but probably from other people who sold similar amounts so only those records are exactly the same will be considered and only one will be deleted click ok and yes two duplicates are found and deleted 